This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 11th day of September, and it is the 10 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update, and of course, 9-11. Everyone has to uh, pause and just give give thoughts and really uh, tributes to those who were so incredible on that day. Um, so, um, Dow's up 78 at 34,652, struggling in this inside track repellent zone. Uh, we're looking at the S&P right now. The S&P is up 16, down from the high of the day, which is 44.90. It's at 44.73. The QQQ tried to rally. Uh, it's still up. It's up, two at 374.60. But it did try to It hit 376.31. This is all within the tide is coming down. That is, we're in a downward trajectory, at least in the daily charts, weekly charts, all holding very well. Looking at the IWM, the IWM, the Russell 2000, struggling at the 200 period moving average of 57 cents at 184. Gold's running a little bit because um, the dollar's just taking a bit of a breather. Gold's up six at 1949, and the dollar uh, pulled back 50 cents, 50 ticks, that is 104.59. And I mean, if you, in my show, I'll do some other currencies and show you exactly the relationship there. Looking at crude oil, and this is interesting because crude oil um, is still holding pretty well. It's up three ticks at uh, 87.54, getting a little bit tired, but so far holding extremely well. TLT, that is bonds. Oh, bonds. Bonds are down 42 ticks at 93.95. Therefore, yields are going higher. So within that context, I want to thank uh, Teddy Kekstack for doing uh, um Tommy Jr.'s uh, show, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock this morning. And we'll be back. And there's a lot. I had a bunch of questions that I, over the weekend. Uh, and when I did my market overview afterwards, a number of people had emailed me for subscribers, that is. Uh, just questions. And I want to get to them as soon as I return for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my, my daily newsletter. See you